Hey, I'm Richard Ard. I do plan review here at the City of Mebane. And I'm Taylor Fulford. I am our permit technician here at the City of Mebane. Today what I'm going to be showing you is how to do the online portal per permit submission um, through uh, our iWork and our new online portal system with the City. And once it goes through her process and it comes to me for the plans, and I'm going to show you that process today as well. So the first part of the process for submitting um, plans for review is we're going to go to the main City of Mebane webpage, cityofmebane.gov, and you're going to go over to departments. Um, that's where you will scroll down to find permits and inspections. You are going to want to go to request plan review so you can have your plans submitted. Um, you'll just enter in your um, whatever information you have, if it's a new application, um, a modification, basically you're going to just want to start a new application, um, fill out any information you have, and of course um, choose your files to upload for review. Um, and then once you submit, we'll get a link saying that you are requesting plan review. Um, what I will do is go in at that time and give you a um, fee for review, um, depending on the size of the plans, um, it could uh, vary based on the price. So um, just based on whatever size plans you have for review. Um, once you get a link to pay, you do pay for the plan review. It'll go over to Richard and um, from there he will um, do the review process with you. All right, so when Taylor um, sends the payment link out in the payments process, so I will receive an email from Laserfish um, and I'm just showing a project we've already approved here. Um, and I'll open the task and it will take me to Laserfish. It will show all the information filled out um, and they can upload the plans, PDF. Uh, so sometimes, depending on the file size, uh, I'll download these onto my desktop and I can show you this project right here. So I will bring that up. So this is just some things I look at. Um, they have to have an appendix B, which basically tells the type of construction, um, what materials the building's made out of, uh, the occupant load. This is a revision they had sent in for the project, so that's some changes they made to it. Um, the main thing uh, on some of these submittals that we really look at is life safety, um, egress out of the building, depending on what occupancy the, the building is and how many occupants are in that building. Um, we make sure everything's checked in Appendix B. I'm going to see if I can pull the Appendix B up. So this is the Appendix B. Zoom in. Uh, tells the building that as far as if it's sprinkled, if you got sprinklers in it, um, it's in the fire district. Type of construction, type 2B, it's not combustible. Um, then this, this particular project um, is hazardous. Um, there are certain requirements for that. And the main, the main thing for this process for online is to help the designers and the contractors and the owners to make this more efficient and quicker instead of having to come to the office 
everything can be submitted digitally, which speeds up the process of not having to drop plans off, you know, pay here, um, and make things a whole lot easier for them to receive the comments, make the corrections. Uh, if you see right here, this is a stamp I made. Um, so when the plans are, are approved, uh, they will get a copy of this with a stamp on them. It'll be sent back to them uh, in a link and they can access that link. What we like to have them do is have the plans on site that are stamped. That way we know that we're looking at the plans we approved on site. Um, so that's really the process. It, it can depend on the project and the size of the project. Um, this is just uh, an upfit adding some rooms in an existing building. This is not a new construction. So it, it just all depends on what is submitted and how long the process takes. Something like this might not take but a week. A new project could take up to three, four weeks, just depending on how many projects we have. Right now it's, it's starting to get pretty busy right here at the end of the year. Um, we're getting a lot, of, a lot of projects at the same time. But uh, that's, that's basically it. Um, I know they have really liked the transition to this online plan submittal. Um, it's made a big, big impact on us and helped us out as far as not having a lot of paper in the office too. So, um, and the designers like it. A lot of them use it, um, so it's more efficient for that. So now that your plan review plan review is complete you are going to want to go back in and we will go back to the permits and inspections page on the city of Mebane website um, so you've already requested plan review now you're going to go to online permit portal and that's where you're going to go and um, choose from whatever it is that you're going to be submitting for. So if you're um, submitting for commercial permits, um, this is everything that's required. You're going to want to fill one of each of those out. You're going to want to do, um, depending on the project, um, if it's a completely new project, you have to do building, zoning, mechanical, plumbing, and electrical. Um, just to cover all your bases. If it's some smaller project or an addition, um, it may only require um, a couple of these. Um, so just depends on what the project is you're applying for. Um, mostly this will be the area that you're gonna be working in is new commercial additions and um, remodels. Um, if you are submitting for residential permits, new, new single family homes, there's all this information included here. Um, accessory buildings, poles, decks, porches, um, just simple um, residential additions. Um, you'll find those and it'll give you all the required uploads needed. Um, and then for zoning. So a lot of people don't realize you do have to get permitted through the city if you are within our jurisdiction um, to put a fence up. So you will just need a simple zoning permit for fences. Um, same with sheds um, in the backyard, um, so on and so forth. Um, there's also permits required um, for HVAC changeouts. You'll need to submit both mechanical and the electrical for the reconnect on those, um, as well as generators and signs. Um, signs, you're gonna typically need electrical to reconnect any sign that's illuminated. Um, you will need to also um, submit a zoning permit with the sign permit. So make sure that everything is zoned properly for your sign. Um, last but not least, solar panels, um, something that's kind of new and upcoming. Um, for those, we will need just a simple solar building permit as well as an electrical, per electrical permit and your plans. Um, so pretty much it gives you everything required and what you'll need for each thing that you're going to be wanting to apply for. Um, of course, it'll let you upload any documents you have. Um, and of course, if you have any questions, you are always welcome to email or reach out to, um, my, like I said, myself or Richard. I handle mostly permits. 
Um, so any permitting questions I can assist you with, any plans um, questions, typically Richard will help you with. You'll also, um, once you submit, um, typically review time um, and permitting uh, takes uh, anywhere from two to four weeks. Um, generally, uh, you know, if we have any questions, concerns, need additional information, we will reach out to you as soon as possible. You probably won't hear anything from us unless we have questions until we're ready to um, go ahead and issue permits. Um, so, so essentially the general turnaround time will be anywhere from two to four weeks. Um, and if we need anything further on plans, uh, with plans, um, Richard will reach out and that could take a little bit longer just depending on what it is that is needed at that time. Thank you for joining us today. I hope this helps with the process of submitting plans and online permits. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to contact me or Taylor. And I hope you all have a positively charming 2024.